Hey, we're back. And I know I was gonna say only two videos a day, but today I have this another rant and I wanna jump on here. Um, reading my Abraham Maslow book, he states, each man or each woman is his own project. Right? We are our own projects, right? And I wanted to just jump on here and let you guys know that maybe it's just me, but I feel like certain times I have visions of what I want to do, what I want to be, opening this channel, doing the Instagram thing. Um, and people are always asking me, like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what is your, what is your, um, you know, what is your means, your end means, right? What is that? What are you trying to accomplish? And I think we've been taught in society that, one, not to think for ourselves, right? And two, everybody thinks that if you're doing something, you're doing it for some reason. Like, you have to be doing it for a gain or of some, some sort, right? And um, I thought that way as well, right? Like, whenever I wanted something, okay, why would I do that? What's the, what's the, what am I getting from that? What am I going to receive? Um, if, if I talk to this uh, partner, uh, associate, whoever it may be, what am I getting from him, right? And we've forgotten that sometimes you just want to, to meet people and you want to build relationships just for the fun of it. Like you like, you generally like meeting people, understanding where they're coming from, their journeys, what are they working on. Maybe you guys can resonate with each other um, and just have fun with it, right? Um, everything doesn't have to be a monetary compensation, guys. Everybody wants to chase that next big thing. And... And what if you just can do something for fun that has no type of return for you? You know, a hobby, whatever it may be. And just do it for fun. Um, I love sports. I love baseball. I know that I'm not going to play professional baseball. And it took me some hard realization, obviously, uh, when I was in college. But I got away from the sport because I was like, you know what? There's no way of playing it because I'm not going to make it professionally. So what's the point of me continuing to work hard and practicing every day? And working out and doing all these things that it takes. It takes a lot of physical, physical work, a lot of mental endurance. And understand that these anybody that's an athlete in a professional sport, they're putting a lot of hours of repetition work, working out. They're putting the bodies to a lot of regular workouts. So it's a lot of work. People think it's just, oh, I'm getting paid $100 million. But they don't understand that these guys are doing this day in and day out, uh, putting their body out there and their mental as well because they have to keep their mind fresh. So it's a lot of work, right? But I knew that I wasn't going to make it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to drop it and I stopped playing. But I met a couple of guys. They had an amateur league. And, and it's a, a grown men amateur league. And they play for fun. And, and it gets competitive, obviously. But you, everybody's there. They know they're not going to get. There's not, they're not making it to a major league. So we're just having fun, right? So I, I saw how much fun these guys were having. And I said, like, oh, man, that's pretty fun. There's no pressure. You're just doing it for fun. If you have 4,000, you know, if you have 4,000 errors, nobody cares. If you have 4Ks in a day, nobody cares. You're just having fun. If you hit 400 months, people appreciate it, but nobody really cares. It's an amateur league, right? And this goes for bowling, basketball, football, um, all these sports that people think that you cannot have fun. Like, you, once you, if you're not doing it for a profession or to be somebody, you shouldn't be doing it. And, um, I'm here to attest that, you know, you everything you do, if it's writing, if it's reading uh, or, or editing, or if it's making videos, if it's making content, if it's, if it's drawing, if it's, um, what else, singing, things that you love to do, you don't have to just do it because you're trying to be the next level. Or you're trying to have a monetary compensation for it. You do it because you love doing it. And I can't explain the feeling of me just, you know, playing, having fun, um, and, and just, you know, letting go of all your life's, uh, I guess, uh, responsibilities. And you just go out there and have fun, and you feel like a kid again, right? Uh, obviously, the body doesn't lie, so the body's not a kid again. <laughs> but just the fact that you're able to still, you know, grateful that I'm still able to play a sport that I love is the reason why I do it. Because I know at one point I probably won't be able to do it anymore uh, because of age-related issues. But right now, when you're still young and you're still vibrant, and you still can do it, why not? A lot of guys hold back from having fun and doing stuff they used to love because they're not. there's no type of monetary gain to it. And I think that's a bad way to think because in life, some certain things, some things that you love, you might not make it 
a profession out of it, but you might be good at it. You might be actually pretty good at drawing, but nobody's been going to pay for your drawings. And who knows, you might get discovered. But, you know, most of the time, I think a lot of us are in this mentality that whatever you're doing, you have to have a, a, something in return. You can't just do things for fun just because you love to do it. That doesn't exist. That's not that's not produ productive, right? When this mentality, oh, it's not productive. And I'm here to say, listen, sometimes when I'm in, you know, out there just having fun, I get a lot of ideas. I get a lot of content. I get a lot of uh, different ways and avenues to come back with, with, with this channel, with Instagram. And, and and I'm having fun with it. Even Instagram itself, I'm having fun with it. Everybody always asks, oh, why are you doing it? I'm just having fun. I want to see how it goes. If it blows up and it goes huge, I'll be excited, I guess. But I'm not attaching myself to that. I'm just having fun. And um, that goes for all of us, man. We're grown adults. But hey, you can still have fun and just do things for fun. And you don't have to do things just work, work, work. And I have to hustle and bustle and have to make money. If I'm on the internet, if I'm not making money, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not productive. So now where's the fun in life, right? Uh, try something new. Be spontaneous, right? Like, spontaneous. Spon I love to be spontaneous, but I've kind of got away from that because of work and the kids. And then when you want to go somewhere, everybody has to have a plan. Like, oh, we had a plan. No, just you want to go somewhere, go, you know, go. I went to the Caskills, um back in December, and I didn't know where I was going. I'd never been there. I never traveled out there. I didn't have a, and we had our phones before it was GPS maps. Now we have GPS. So we got there. We didn't get lost. We, we made it fine. We had a wonderful time. The woods were phenomenal. Beauty, nature, Mother Nature was phenomenal. It was cold, so we weren't outdoors too much. But it was something that we, it was an experience. It was something different we got to learn, you know. And we were looking forward to going back. And, and you start looking at how big this world is. You start seeing how different other parts of the world are. And um, it takes just being spontaneous and just being okay with not knowing. And I've said it in other videos as well, but I just want to jump on here today and say, listen, it's okay not to know. And, and I don't know what I'm doing. We don't know what we're doing here. We're just here jumping on and talking and talking about what we think we know. What if what we're saying, it has no value or no, no relevancy, right? What if what we're saying is wrong? Like, we would never know. You know, we just go based upon what you hear and, and, and all these common uh, advice. But what if all the common advice is wrong? Like, what if we come there one day, we find out that all the advice that we're given is is actually advice that was contrary to how to live life and enjoy your life, right? So just be be open. Be open, you know, be open to learn things. Be open to try things. Um, face your fears. You know, I, was, I hated the camera, but I've become a lot better at it. And I feel like I can talk in front of a thousand people if you put me in front of because I've been practicing on a daily basis. So just... You know, things you think you're not good at, you might be good at. Um, be spontaneous. Try something new. Take that trip. Take that, that getaway weekend. Take, you know, ask that that per, that, per, that person out. Um, whatever it is that you want to do, right? I think we live on this life like we're scared of the unknown. And and I'm, I'm, in, I'm one to, to be scared of the unknown as well. But if I, I've been letting go in this year, I've been seeing more, more results. I've been seeing more... Uh, less stress, more creativity, more productivity as anybody wants to get. So the less I worry about the, the, the results, the more productivity I get, the more results I get. And it's still a work in progress because you still got to work on it daily. But if you start practicing this, the the, the phenomenal results you get in six months or the, the growth, because your your growth is, was, was actually more, more important than the materialistic stuff. But... The personal growth you receive in life and the fulfillment and the happiness will be superb, will be phenomenal. And um, it starts with a vision. You got to go after it. Stop thinking about it, right? Um, but getting back to the fact that, that Abraham Maslow says we are, own, we are our own projects. When you're making a project, you're always, you know, you always, uh, you don't really know what's going to come out of the project, right? You just start it. You start building it. <laughs> You start sculpting it, whatever it may be you're doing. But you're not sure what's the real result going to be, right? So it's kind of like how we are. We we need to be working on ourselves on a daily basis and and, and just really, really grasp that, that we're going to do the best that we can on a daily basis, but we don't know what the outcome might be. 
it could be awesome it could be phenomenal it could just be something you probably thought it would be better but that is where we fall short and we think that that uh, we control the outcome right you don't control the outcome you control just the, the moment the actions the daily habits um, and just challenge yourself on a daily basis on uh, just certain things that you're think that you're not good at try it and and you'll be surprised so you know every day we have our own uh, building for of ourselves and and I think it all starts in the mind and in, in within us and I think that's when you see true true results is when you're able to rebuild or, or rework the inside the mind and change your thoughts and you're able to produce massive results because now you're thinking differently you're seeing the world in different in a different uh, perspective and um, I don't know I think that's a big big difference for me and I'm not any different than I was six months ago. All I've changed was my mindset, the way I think, the way I look at things, uh, keep uh, curiosity to things, never say no to certain things I don't know, uh, try to learn certain things that I, I never learned before, and always be open, right? So be open to everything, but don't get attached to everything like uh, Dr. Dwayne Dyer says. But I'm going to let you guys go. I'm babbling too long. Um, please share, follow, um, and subscribe if you can. And uh, thank you guys for listening to me. Take care.